hi friends welcome to our youtube channel one and only pharmacy so friends in this video we see detailed notes about posology chapter subject pharmaceutic second d pharmacy second year presented by one and only pharmacy youtube channel so friends i request to all please watch this video till the end let's start posology what is the definition of posology it is the branch of medical science Posology is the branch of medical science which deals with study of doses of drugs which deals with the study of doses of drugs required to produce a pharmacological action. Let's see again. It is the branch of medical science which deals with the study of doses of drugs required to produce a specific pharmacological action. That means it is a study of doses form. Let's uh, below. Posos means how much and logos means science next point definition of dose what is dose a definition the dose is defined as a quantity of drug it is defined as a quantity of drug which is enough to produce a pharmacological action it is called as dose factors affecting dose and action of drug these are follows there are 15 factors which are risk affects by dose and action of drug which are uh, first age, sex, body weight, route of administration, time of administration, presence of disease, genetic factors, environmental factors, acquired tolerance, idiosyncrasy, rate of elimination, synergism, antagonism, dependence that, that means drug dependence and tachyphylaxis. These are 15 factors which are responsible for affecting dose and action of drugs let's see one by one in detail age generally children and old patients require small doses of drugs than adults age is concerned with the capacity of metabolizing and excreting the drugs from the body which comes under age factors second factor body weight heavy weight persons require large dose than normal weight body uh, weight persons Usually, 17 kg is considered as a normal weight of adult for calculating doses. And third point, according to weight, the dose of drug varies. Third factor, sex. Female adults generally require small dose than male due to presence of more fats. Fourth factor, route of administration. Rate of absorption depends upon route of administration. Thus, dose differs according to route. For example, IV dose is smaller than I intramuscular dose, is smaller than subcutaneous dose and is smaller than oral dose. Fifth, time of administration. If the drugs are taken on empty stomach, then absorption of drug is get greater but GIT irritation may occur because of empty stomach. If the drugs are taken after meals, that means full stomach. Absorption is lesser but no GIT irritation due to presence of food. Sixth factor, presence of disease. In diarrhea condition, absorption of certain drug is less because due to the diarrhea drug goes excreted out and, and presence of disease may affect the absorption of drug. Seventh factor, genetic factors. Deficiency of certain enzymes may produce hereditary disorders. For example, diabetes mellitus second point drug allergies also are also heritable for example sulfur allergy and penicillin allergy second factor environmental factors the doses required to produce the action during day and night may differ due to some psychological changes sorry not psychological it is physiological changes in body functions for example Dose of phenobarbital, that means barbiturate, required to produce a sleep during daytime is higher than dose required to produce a sleep at night. Ninth, acquired tolerance. It means a large quantity of drug is required to order to obtain a desired action of drugs. For example, morphine, heroin, produce tolerance. Tenth factor, idiosyncrasy. It is an abnormal or unusual response given by a drug. For example, in some persons, morphine causes asthma. Eleventh factor, rate of elimination, that means accumulation. 
accumulation means accumulation of drug in the body due to slow excretion causing toxicity for example digitalis chloramphenicol etc synergism the simultaneous administration of true or more drugs may result in increase of action the phenomenon is known as synergism for example aspirin and caffeine as a analgesic antagonism the opposite action of drugs on the same physiological system is called antagonism for example morphine and naloxone protein factor tachyphylaxis repeated ad administration of drug within short intervals of time decreases pharmacological response progressively this is known as tachyphylaxis example ephedrine in the treatment of tachyphylaxis and formulas for calculating doses in children first formula young's formula child dose equal to age in years upon age in years plus 12 into adult dose and second fried's formula infant dose equal to age in months upon 150 into adult dose thank you guys for watching this video till the end and so friends if you know on the channel so please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel for pharmacy related daily updates thank you guys let's see in next videos